this is my proof that there's no such thing as black leadership. This is my proof. And General D could probably, I see him in the chat room, he could probably relate to this, what I'm about to say. Peace to General According D. To the two, yeah, according to the 2009 census, black people are 12.9% of the total population of the U.S. Now, these are their numbers. The total population of the U.S., according to them, is 6,550. That means that there are approximately... 40 million people in the United States who, who label themselves as black. Right? Yeah. I'm, round, I'm rounding off. It comes out to a little under 40, like 39,603,845. I'm rounding it off to 40. $10 times 39,603,845. It's three hundred and ninety six million dollars. Round that off, about four hundred million dollars a month. Now ten dollars a month is not even a dollar a day, right? Mm. Now, that's a best case scenario. You have that in the till four hundred thousand four hundred million dollars a month. If black, everybody who labels themselves as black in this country puts $10 into a tip. That's just for the month. If you multiply that by 12, that's about um, close to $5 billion for the year. Comes out, according to their figures, about $4,752,461, blah, 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 blah. Now, we know that everybody in, the, in, the, in this label says every black is not going to contribute $10. Let's just say that we take a quarter of that population, just a quarter of the population. You're still talking about a billion dollars a year. If a quarter is too much, break that in half, a half a billion dollars for the year. So that's my proof. Very simple. All it takes is a calculator. We don't have any black leadership because we have enough money amongst our people to finance any and everything that we want financed. The only thing we pour in is consciousness. You write about your your analysis and the, the breakdown. Um, we, we also, like Calogenesis said in the chat, we pour in character as well. You know, we we talk, but we don't walk the walk. Mm -hmm. And we we just continue to let others um, surpass us in, in everything. And, and you know, we we got to remember you. you yeah. Remember when we went to the Million Man March? Yeah, that was um, the time. You had a million men. At the march. There were women also there. There was, everybody was there, basically. But specifically, right. a, million, a million men. I think there were more. And I remember Farrakhan, Farrakhan said, if you remember this, this was a portion of his speech. He said the exact same thing that I just read to you all just now. He said that if, you, if each person was to give $10 a month, that would be enough to put into a till, and we can finance our own organizations. Because the problem is, whoever pays the pipe that calls, you know, calls the tune. And if we don't finance Barack Obama, Barack Obama has no reason to work in our interest because we he will suffer no political or economic um, consequences for not working in our interest. But if he if he's getting a nice healthy check from Coca Cola and this one and that one and all these and and um, political organizations and corporations, then why should he work for your interests? Because he looks like you? You know, that doesn't even make any sense. Nope. And, and when we so what to... happened? What happened to that, Mac? What happened? After the Million Man March? Yeah, what happened to that concept of, of everybody donating $10 a month? Because I thought that was all, all the things that... Um, 
he spoke about on that day, that was the one that stood out to me the most. What happened? We're, because the first thing we needed to do was establish the infrastructure for that fund, like put all the, you know, get the infrastructure in place that it would allow people to donate to it. And then the next phase would be marketing and promotion of the fund. And that, that fund should be in the name of every anybody who's calling themselves a black leader, a black representative, a black pastor, whatever you want to call yourself. That It should be a talking point for every African in America. If you do not support this fund, we don't give a damn what you got to say. As a matter of fact, if you don't support it, you're working against our interest. So with enough propaganda and enough marketing and promotion, after you put the infrastructure in place, and people can see the results. They will have a, you know, you can have a counter up there showing how much funds are being collected, blah, 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 blah. And you can also have a, a committee that could be um, assigned the duty of allocating the funds to whatever, um, at whatever endeavor that we want to support. Had we had a fund like that in place, when a situation happened in Haiti, we wouldn't have been begging for the United States government to do anything. Had the situation happened in Katrina, we would have been able to respond. It was a Without waiting that, for the government and crying and complaining that the government wasn't doing what they were supposed to do, we would have been able to respond to it. And here it is, I, some brother living in Brooklyn, working on an eight-hour shift, <laughs> why is it that I'm capable of thinking like this and coming up with these concepts, which is really no big freaking deal? It's not like it requires some, some vast amount of intelligence to do this shit. How come I'm thinking this up? And you got these clowns who supposed to be, they, they make their money working for the black community. They don't have jobs. A hustle. We're doing hustle. this stuff on the side. We, we, we have to live and sustain our own personal lives, but we take the time out of our life to do this stuff for free. Is this a hustle? Nobody's getting paid off this conscious stuff. It's a hustle to them, and me, you, saw everybody in the chat room, we, we love our people, and we want to be free. And they, it's a hustle for them. The, the Million Man March was a feel-good moment. Felt good for that moment. Afterwards, everybody went back home, back on the block, back to selling crack, back to gang-banging, or whatever, whatever situation you in, negative or positive, back to all of that, and nobody got together. No coalitions were formed, no voting blocks, nada.